everybody. Should we start all over? <laughs> uh, forget it. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Wingman's Hangar. I'm Eric Wingman Peterson. I'm Rob Desiderpotomister. <laughs> and I don't know what to do with that. Yeah, well, we do. I'm sure we'll roll Best it. opening ever. Ever. So this is kind of an inside look at uh, Descent Underground as we reboot the Descent franchise and kick it kicking and screaming into the uh, 2000s from the 90s. Uh, if you're new to the show, that's what this is about. Uh, coming up this week, we have the Week in Review. Uh, we have Forum Feedback. Studio Snapshot, we have Most Valuable Post, and we want to thank our newest backers. <laughs> thank you guys very, very much. We appreciate that. Welcome. If you want to back, you can see us at DescendantStudios.com or DescentUnderground.com or on Steam, Descent Underground. So, hey, you got that. I don't think we've ever actually done that. You made it, made it through all of those yeah. without a single stumble. For the twos of people watching right now. Welcome to the madhouse, all of you. Uh, and a special thanks to our new undergrounders. Fox JR Jens and Kilroy386. Thank you guys very much. They are right now, by the way, playing the latest edition of the Proving Grounds. We need more complicated names to sign up. Yeah, Those were we too do. easy we, for no, you. No, they were not too. <laughs> so right now there's a build in the Proving Grounds where people are playing it, testing it out. They already found a hole in the map. They were able to fly out of the map. Well, what are you going to do? Yeah, well, that's why we're doing it, exactly, because there are only tens of us, or ten of us, and so this allows us to use you guys as our testers. No, no S on the end of that ten. <laughs> no, right. And we want to thank also our, new, our Steam players. Every week we have new Steam players. Welcome to the Jungle Baby. Uh, week in review. Well, we had a lot that's in review right now in the Proving Grounds, as we just mentioned. There's damage states in there. Um, we show, like, smoke. Smoke and sparks. Smoke and sparks. Smoke comes first, and then when you see smoke and sparks, they're really, really hurting. Uh, you did something to the plasma balls. They're very large. You made Huge. them bigger balls. Everybody. Yes, they are giant globs of plasma now. Yeah, they are. They're, and, they're, and you slowed them down. So and they're slower. And so it's easier to use that as it's intended, which is to kind of force people into a corner. Um, laser size, length, and speed have been changed. So Different bolts. Different bolts. The the actual the, the hitbox is now the, dura the length of the bolt, and it's... Larger. Well, it always was the length. It's well, just bigger around. Yeah, it was just a ray cast before. It's, it's got tiny, more right? girth. More girth, baby. Get in me, Billy. Uh, that's been happening. The, the miss You've also stopped missile spam. And we, for a while, you could really missile spam. And I know that's been something we've been meaning to get to. And, and you did that. And we got the missiles. I think you can fire how many? Like two a second? Two per second. Now. It used to be four. And, and so now that's changed. And it's changed the game a lot. So get in there balance wise. Um, we've added uh, Vulcan Cannon Divergence. So when the Vulcan fires, it slowly starts to diverge out, so it spreads out further. It's a little, a little wobble to little, the fire, so right, it's not right. just straight line. Yeah, um, that's not in the proving grounds yet. Though. Well, no, it won't be, but it will be by the time that these guys are watching the show. This will be. It's we've got proving grounds. And we're doing an update to the proving grounds, which also has hitboxes changed. Um, after burner power ups rim with a little jerry can there now, shows you where to get new, all the maps. Fuel. Um, shield power up bug was fixed. We we had a lot of sh extra shields there. It was, it was yeah. making shield farming. A lot. It was actually helping curb stopping because you could yeah. get your shields all the way powered up again and go back and kill. So. Really hard now. I mean, the game you stay alive longer, but you're not going to find as many shields during that time. So. Right. It's it's also that it's it's balance. This is kind of a a balance pass, but not just a balance pass because there's a new map in there. Micro Tycho. Which is funny because it's Micro Tycho, which is much smaller than Tycho Tycho, but. It is not really all that micro. It's a pretty good size map. It is a big map. And it, it honestly, in three seconds, you will not know which direction you're going. And it won't matter. Up and down, pfft, don't need them in that map. Meaningless in six degrees. Colors are all that's important in that map. If you know what color ring you're in or color color section of the ring you're in, you can navigate. That's pretty cool. Uh, so now it's this week's studio snapshot. Tech treats where there's a trade off, so it lets you do some Either aspect or. better. It's usually, as you want it, it's just like it says, you need to match people based on where they are in this. New plasma New plasma, si new plasma size nice. bolts. That's way better. How, how about the visibility, though? Maybe we should test visibility with all the ships. Well, the bolts are much bigger. We slowed it down a little bit, too, right? Yeah. Slow it down a little bit. You want to show them the lasers? Show them the new laser screens? And new colors. Oh, colors, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot them down the hall, though. Shoot them. A lot faster. Ah, oh, oh, way better. Um, we, we sped the lasers up, and because of that, it was really giving us epilepsy when we shot the lasers, and so we moved the lasers a little bit. Yeah. Now go check the plasma. Oh, wow, those That's are better. better. Way better. That's way how, better. How's the laser look? 
Yeah. Oh, so that flashing is, is way down. Testing out a bit of divergence on the uh, Vulcan fire. So if you watch this screen, this box here, that's uh, 120 meter cube. My other ship is firing at it. So, oh, wow. Yeah, I got some pretty good spread on it now. Ooh, that looks great. Afterburner. Oh, right? Ooh, what's this? Repair tool. <gasps> Repair tool? Oh, that's so cool. That is always people's favorite thing, I think. Studio Snapshot. That's you can why they watch this show. It's not for us. You can tune off now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, nothing else thanks, interesting thanks is going on. Thanks for going watching. <laughs> uh, we also had an, a, an underground design meeting this week. If you're we a member did. of the Proving Ground, or underground. The underground, you get Proving Grounds access. And I know, I totally. You am, just can't get those I two can't straight. Get those straight. We have too many grounds. Um, but we had a, a meeting and we talked about Hot Rock and things people want to see in Hot Rock and how to make that. It's kind of like the newest monster ball, essentially, that we're putting together, which is a little eSport, which is part of our fiction. Um, that's working out, so we had a big meeting on that. Ooh, it's time for this week's Beautiful Corner. Oh, I love that little beautiful corner. And that was a very nice pose you put there for the Thanks. Um, it's, very, it's very soothing. Let's, should we just get right to the beautiful let's, corner let's, stuff? All let's right, get let's to get it. Take a look at it. Oh, guess what it is. Mike, what is that called? That looks a lot like the shaman. 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 I just wanted to shaman. say shaman. It's shaman. Shamamana. 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 So this has just been checked in actually today, which is really cool. And um, yeah, this is our healer, so to speak, the cleric. It's the, it's the fix it up ship. Yeah, fix it up. It's got two extra tools, too. It's in three. Well, it looks right good. now, too. It looks good. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Now, we also have something else to show, though. <laughs> Not just the shaman, 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 up, shaman, shaman, up, but we also have the what we're going to be doing for Steam trading cards. Ooh. Yeah, so these are coming Blueprints. in the next week or so. Yeah, blueprints for other ships. These are going to be Steam trading cards. You can get those, well, on Steam. Goliath. It says a brick. It's I know. We, I, but we need something for the Goliath to do. We could put it in right now, but it would just be completely a, a, a laser sponge. <laughs> you would not. I mean, it would almost be like a, an achievement to get a kill with the Goliath, unless you're ramming speed, Captain, or something. I don't know. Anyway, so that's, uh, that is this week's Beautiful Corner. And now it's time for Keith McCormick. With, oh. With what? Keith. Um, most valuable post. Right? Welcome to Most Valuable Post, where we celebrate a member of the community who's made a positive contribution to Descent Underground. This week, we honor a member of the community who, well, they noticed that we gave out map assets for people to play with a few weeks ago, and, well, they submitted a really cool map. And so congratulations, Gosnick. You made this week's Most Valuable Post. And I did want to just give a shout out also to Iron Man and to Skeleton Bane, you guys rock too. Very cool. Nice job, Goznik. Uh, shout outs to Iron Man and Skeleton Bane for also. For your worthy contributions. For their worthy contributions. Ooh, Rob, guess what time it is. What time is it, Eric? Mm. It's time for... Forum Let's get a... Let's spray the thing down one of these days, Rick. <laughs> let's just get right to it. From Raptor and Undergrounder. How is the spread fire going to work on the, t the Typhoon? Will it cycle through three axes rather than just two? Um, well, were we to have a spread fire and were it to be on the Typhoon, <laughs> then it would still work the same way. Just because there are three guns, it would just have a lot more coverage. Spread those... from three different spots the gun would be located. But we're not in a hurry to put a spread fire in since it's not the most exciting weapon. Uh, oh, you know, you got to be careful. You probably just pissed off like 20% of the somebody audience. Somebody somewhere loves the spread fire. More than we do. Right, right, um, right. But uh, we're testing out a more close-range shotgun weapon to start with, actually. Uh, what are we calling it? Uh, shrapnel, shrapnel cannon. cannon. Yeah, shrapnel cannon. That's kind of Yes, cool. it yeah. is devastating up The blunderbuss. And point... No. It's a blunderbuss. It is a blunderbuss. It is, sort of. Yeah, it is. Yes. All right, from Siphon, also an undergrounder. How will player maps be, made, be implemented in Descent Underground? Will some be integrated into the game itself? Or will these maps be bundled in a map packs that pe people can purchase and download? So it's kind of both is the answer. Yeah, I mean, I mean they're, they're, we're going to certainly be able to put them in the proving ground and play them. We will, right now we have to gussy them up a little so that they're playable in-game, right. but... Uh, 
People can put their own materials on though if they want. If they want to make them, sure. If they want to go crazy. I mean, we yeah. have we have only thing we've released right now is a first pass, which is it doesn't include the blueprints or how you can fly in there and yeah. stuff. So it's just gray you, box you can just gray box make the map and you submit it to us and we'll gus it up a little bit, make it close up the holes and put we'll put layers in there for power ups and stuff and then we'll put it in the proving grounds for people to play and then we'll vote on what needs to happen and if it's good enough we'll make it. Now how it monetizes. Um, we still got to figure completely how that works. I mean, we've got both options to where if you want to have it included, that's fine. If you want to be included in a map pack, um, then we'll probably put a user map pack out there where we share royalties with each, with each person uh, on an individual basis based on their map. So, um, cool. so, yeah, that's a good question. I asked her for a cup of joe and she just answered back. Well, I'm dying on the inside. Ain't it plain to see that everything I give to you is everything I need. Uh, sorry, guy. I'm not sure what that was. I'll, I'll fix that. Somebody must be overtaking our stream. All right. Uh, back from the tech glitch. Um, from Demosthenes. 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 This Demosthenes. is not a hard one. Do you guys watch the show The Expanse? Is Descent Underground Story inspired by those books? Yes. Watched every episode so far. I haven't seen it's any. pretty cool. I um, want to see it. What channel is it on? Uh, Sci-fi. Oh, is it? I love, you know, I'm watching actually the Shannara Chronicles right now. I, I just picked some of those up this weekend. It's the first time I've watched MTV in years. I, I like it. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone watch MTV yeah, anymore? No, no, it's really good. I've read all the, Chron the Shannara, Sword of Shannara and all the Long books. Long yeah, time yeah, yeah. ago. Yeah, well, there were some I don't think I got to. But. So I haven't seen The Expanse. I'm looking forward to it. I've heard it's the most like Firefly or Battle... Um, what not, not Battlestar? Real, Galactica, real space physics. It's yeah, very, Babylon. very cool. Um, Battlestar Galactica. No, I think they said Babylon. People said Babylon Five had yeah. real, real physics on their ships. Yeah, too. I think, but I'm looking forward to it, and I just haven't seen it. So you like and, it? Yeah, yeah. The first episode, they're they're in a ship hauling ice, which sort of happens in our game. So yes. cool. So it's not. It's let's say we're kindred spirits. How's that? Yes. From but two not based on two the cables. I'm noticing that I tend cables? to have the e cables. I'm noticing that I tend to have the easiest time fighting bots in Mobius, whereas I usually get owned in Valor. Do each of the four maps have their own difficulty setting? Uh, no, not yeah, yet. Yeah, sure. Yet. No. Um, yes, they don't. Yes, we totally they did do that not. on purpose. Uh, it's almost. just a, it's a proximity. They're closer to you, so you get more will aggro on you at the same time. The maps are different sizes. Valor's more open, so you can get more of them aggroed on you. Yeah, yeah that, that is, we will be adding levels of that eventually but right yeah no yeah. actually it's changed a lot now because i think it's even harder now they kick your butt yeah we, with the new changes it's gonna be tougher on us but that's okay from sergeant craig Gee, do you think he wants to talk about a weapon perhaps a shotgun style weapon hey look no can way. we get a shotgun style weapon yes yes you can the blunderbuss no 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 the shatter cannon no that's been used scatter cannon Shrapnel cannon? Shrapnel cannon. One of those. It starts with an S. We're testing it out today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are testing it out today. So, yeah, that's that's on the board. And and those pellets are going to kind of, you know, expand out. As and they're blue. Oh, really? Bluesies? Nice. We're waiting on a new build to test that, actually, right this very moment. So. Uh, except Tyler forgot to put in the key mapping, so we're waiting on him to fix that before we get into <laughs> So the next build. <laughs> so later build. From Skeleton Bane. Why do rings in Micro Tycho look so dark with simple dynamic lighting? Well, it's kind of like this piece of paper. You see how the light reflects off of that and then bounces out and illuminates below? Um, when you have simple dynamic lighting, you no longer have the light source bouncing off the walls and illuminating those hallways, and so we get a rather dark area. Um, the game's built with dynamic lighting, and for dynamic lighting, um, we probably have to come up with some other solution for non-dynamic lighting players. Or you could get a better video card. Maybe maybe, <laughs> maybe a texturing you, change could help it. Yeah, we too. might be able to we'll, do we'll have to We'll have to look and see what we can yeah, do. Yeah, because actually if we turn, if we, if we turn it completely, like blow it completely out, with like flat light it, it looks crap. It's just all oh, it's completely horrid, bloomed horrid, out of its horrid, mind. Horrid. So, um, yeah, but uh, I would recommend a new video card. That's what I would say. Just go get go get a video card. Save up some money. And Thanks for calling. Yeah. Thank Studios Tech Support. Yeah, they get a new video uh, card. Hello? Yeah, your computer sucks. Get another one. <laughs> Not saying your computer sucks or get another one, but I'm just you know, uh. having fun. But, uh, we actually had one guy from Russia tell us that on Steam that our game was, his specs were like 15 years old. And we we're like, dude, you're way below min spec. And he was like, this game sucks because it should support all these old games. This, and I'm like, man, you know. If I wanted to make a game for 1995, I, I could make one that doesn't sell. So, yeah, that would be not going to happen. From Lucifer Dark. Lucifer? Lucif well, Lucifer Dark. That's an interesting Does name. Does Wingman make a good cup of tea? 
Oh yeah, so a little like, cup of tea. With you a dangle f- him in a big a enough up. bucket. Yeah, I yeah, guess. Yeah. It's a big enough bucket, but it's usually not for tea. So um, yeah, I make a real good cup of tea. I used to work in England, um, and a little cup of Earl Grey is good. You know, we have some tea here. We have um, you know one of the, a couple of those coolers with heated water in there. We can have some tea in that as well. So it's a bit um, fun. yeah, and if you guys want us to try different types of tea, send some along. Mushroom tea is preferred. Shameless plug. <laughs> yeah, right. And now it's time for this week's Hot Topic. So what is the hot topic this week? Well, we know what it is. It's hard to hit our ships, apparently. It's hard to hit the ships, energy usage, the Vulcan scatter. There's a lot of good feedback being given in there. and There's it's a ton. It, there, we do, we, that's why we're doing a balance pass right now, to be honest. Usually you wait until much later yeah. to get the balance pass, but as we are a live game. Um, Trying to get more features in is certainly better than going back and redoing things you've already got in, but in this particular case, it's going to change the game enough that we wanted to get some testing done on it before, right. earlier rather than later. Um, so we've done a lot of things to adjust for this. I mean, we've got, we're going to have to change the energy usage a little bit. That is, that is a little off. Um, well, I don't know. You know, it's one of those things you don't change energy usage until you find out once the hitbox has been adjusted, you know, do they run out as much because they, oh, yeah. you know, you might not need as many shots. If, you know, I don't know why the old school players are such bad shots. Yeah. <laughs> You'd think they'd have they'd be able to hit something. No, I'm kidding, obviously. Um, yeah, because Rooster, Zero, Lothar, um, White Snark, they've all been, yeah, I think it's White Shark, by the way. They've all been, uh, this has been a universal thing they've been putting out there. They want the hitboxes. And Lothar put up a really good post giving the dimensions of size differentiations between ours and the others. And um, we've always, we've kind of upped it a little bit, but we ran the math on it this morning. You and Tyler. Spreadsheets. 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 And you, uh, you guys have come with another one. So that is one of the things we are testing today, and which we'll soon be going into an update on the Proving Grounds. Assuming that it doesn't completely kill the rest of the it's way, it's going to be play. so easy. You think so? Yeah. Well, then that may perpetrate hit points going up or energy uses. Go- we would set the. It's all one big balancing thing, and you know, and, and that's that's going to be fun. Um, so yeah, hit boxes are definitely being adjusted. So thank you guys for the feedback. I can hit a predator. I don't know what. It you can hit a predator. Yeah. But you know, a lot of that is we kind of corner them in walls and hit them with the. The uh, concussion of the of the missiles. Sure. So. Oh, you can just shoot them. That's what I do. Yeah, but you got to get in close. I think a lot of folks like to parry from a distance. So at least that's what. Um, the dance. I was reading all that thing today. There was some really good feedback up there yeah. from all those gentlemen, and then some well, arguments from you know. Oh, and the mouse has been fixed. Tyler thinks he's finally found the last bug in the mouse. It was going to work a lot like sub level zero, but he had one little problem with it. He thinks he's got it, so that'll be going into the proving grounds as well. Well. All right, that's good. Yeah, yeah man. that's yeah. been a pain in our behind. Well, it works for, for ninety nine percent of the people. It just there's a couple of people that it's not working for, yeah. but that doesn't mean we're not helping. We want to be there for that. Uh, big thanks to our agents of the underground streamers who are worth watching and supporting. Uh, Munch and play, Grummel Fritz, Orange Raccoon, In Spades Gaming, Raptor Sixth Off, DVS Gaming, Puddles, Mike Dix, and Skeleton Bane. Thank you guys very very much for. Streaming our stuff, yep, yep. And we stream as well here. Um, if you feel like joining us, we have Rob streams, I stream, we all stream for ice cream. That was freaking awesome! I love it. No, uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, coming no, up no, in no, December, no. we're going to do it again. Um, Pack South is coming next week. We've got Pack South going. Oh, yeah. We're hosting a panel down there. We're going to be in the Alienware booth. We're going to be in the AMD booth. Um, I think we're on We're on another, and maybe XSplit. We're doing a few different things, partners down with a lot of people. Um, we're like... People like the product. They're having a good time. They want to, you know, Razor's coming by next week to talk to us. That's pretty neat. Cool. Um, Proving Grounds is going to head to general release next week after we, well, assuming that we don't find any more holes in the map and that the changes work and that we haven't completely nerfed the uh, balance of the game. Yeah, the goal is not to make the game simple. The goal is to make the game more fun. Challenging, yeah. fun, and give, the, and give the roles, give the ship's roles and reasons to play. The shamans, the auger was the first kind of jump into that, but even that's not... Complete, it's only like 10% of what it's going to be able to do. And then the Shaman is the first one that will really help combat roll. Um, uh, to go from the, so, yeah, next in the Proving Grounds will be after we go to take this build and put it out to the general. Then we'll close Proving Grounds for just a small bit, and we'll put the Shaman in there, um, the Hot Rock Arena, um, and go from there. 
chat integration also with the website. We're struggling trying to get that working with the last few bits yeah. to where the chat on the website will be able to just be seen in Drone Bay. That's a big thing. And tech trees and persistence is coming. Somewhere down the line. Yeah, we're working on that. We'll probably integrate the first version of the tech trees, like the lower level, and we'll build from there. And that's that's what's happened. That's that's kind of going to give start giving the ships the differentiation you're looking for, and give you guys a reason to, to choose which vehicle you want to fly. Right now, they're kind of all similar, and they're just different sizes. So that'll all come out. It's going to make typhoons a lot more terrifying. Terrifying. Well, you know, Tyler's going to like that. Tyler loves everything yeah. I do. That's we, nice. We, for the we just need a, we just need a typhoon tracking missile. There we go. Yeah, that's all we need. Uh, thank you guys to Underground members um, for supporting us as this pays for all this stuff. Thanks to our pledgers and backers and people jumping into the Proving Grounds as well as into the, the whole game itself. Thank you guys very much. Without you guys, there is no us. Um, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch channels so you can get the latest and greatest as to what's happening. Not necessarily ever the greatest, but it's definitely the latest. It's the latest. Yep. And uh, submit your forum feedback questions. We, uh, we only had a few this week. So if you, there's anything you want to know about the game, about the lore, we're going to start releasing some lore stuff. Um, what goes on there? And, and that kind of, the eSports ties into the lore, don't forget, because our pilots and their off time are sports heroes for back on Earth. So anyway, we will see you all underground. underground.